The Sisters of St. Joseph came to Minnesota 150 plus years ago to establish a school. Shortly after we were here, a cholera epidemic broke out. Ever since then, we have been involved in health care in one way or another. Minnesota has so many uninsured people. Their income's a little bit higher than what qualifies for any of Minnesota programs, and yet they may be working three or four jobs and not enough income to pay for health care. So it's, it's the people in that gap that we serve. We established our clinics in donated space, out in churches and schools. I have a big pain in my, around my stomach area. So they took him to the emergency room. They find out there was a tumor in my pancreas. Some of the hospitals wouldn't, wouldn't even see him without insurance. At that time, my baby was two months old, and I, I really don't want to believe it. The doctor asked me if I have insurance, and I said I don't have insurance. So he, uh, he referred me to St. Mary's Clinic. What we want to do is provide health care for as many people as we can in the most economical way that we can. This is primary care, specialty care, hospital services, and medication, all given to our patients at no expense to them. We currently have a network of 1,200 specialists who see our patients in their office at no charge. We also have 13 hospitals we have contracts with. In addition to that, we have a very unique relationship with the Park Nicollet Health Systems. What we do is the eligibility screening and the case management of St. Mary's patients that are seen in one of their 10 primary care locations. About a month ago, I had my surgery. We want to keep our operations simple, but yet when you really look underneath the surface, you will see that there are many fairly sophisticated processes that keep us running very smoothly. We not only advocate for our patients one-on-one, -on -one, and that would be really looking for permanent health care coverage, um, governmental programs they're eligible for, but we need to advocate as a whole for the group we serve and have a, a movement to really bring forward the issues of the uninsured to those who are policy writers and lawmakers. So we believe health care is a basic human right. It would probably be one less of our family if, if we wouldn't have found the St. Mary's Clinic, I think.